Hi everyone, welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will show week 5 quiz answer for joy of computing using Python. So coming to the question number 1, we have a dictionary named courses and we have to add the data to this dictionary courses such that the key is CS102 and the value is database management system. So as you can see on the right hand side, I have shown that if we, we choose the third option which is this one. So we will get output like this as said in the question. So mark option C as answer for question number one. Now coming to the question number two. So before starting it, uh, let me first give you a brief about this Monte Hall problem. So it works like that. Uh, you have three doors and one of the three door will have car and other two door will have goats. And it is a sort of lottery system where you have to do a guess. So suppose you picked one door, say door one. So the Monty who is the organizer of this game who knows very well that what is behind each door so he will open <coughs> one of the two doors to reveal a goat. Okay. So he will intentionally open a door where you have a goat. Then uh, you will be asked whether you want to stick with your first choice or you want to change it to another door means you have chosen door 1 so do you want to go with door 2 or door 3 as he has opened uh, any one of the door okay so it works like this so what is the probability that Mon Monty ha not opening the door with code so you have to find this probability and given the hypothesis that you will initially choose the door which has a car so, okay so since you have initially chosen a car, so the other two door will have goat as I said already. So whatever door Monte will open, it will in encounter goat only. So hence we have 0% chance of Monte not opening a door with goat, which means we have probability equals 0. So mark 0 as an answer for question number 2. And coming to the question number 3, what should be replaced with question mark in line 10? So this is the code, I, I copied the exact code as shown here. So what should be replaced with this question mark so that final choice will be equal to true, equal to 2. So this is the final choice. So it works like that, uh, you just have to remove this question mark and you have to replace with these options. So for example, we have to replace with question number uh, with two as uh, option number one so if you replace you will see final choices coming as two and if you again run this code you may not get final choices two as you can see it is showing as one so you just have to replace these values with here to check whether final choice is coming as two or not and the problem says that how uh, which options you will select so that uh, you have higher chance of getting final choice is equal to 2. So for getting more chance of final choice equal to 2, you must have this uh, if condition as true. And this will be true only when these conditions will be true. So I checked all these options. So it will be it will give true for 2 and option C as you can see here. It is showing true for uh, 2 means 2 is a uh, if you find the boolean of 2, it will always come as true. So that is why it will also be taken as true. And the third option will give as true. And you don't need to see the alien of door as it is fixed as 3 only. So we will select option A and C as an answer for question number 3. Coming to question number 4. So given you have a sorted list of 2048 elements what is the maximum number of comparison to search such an element using linear search so how many comparisons you need for linear search so for linear search you will need 2048 20, uh, for linear search you will need 2048 searches as you can see here for linear search we need maximum of, maximum of n comparison when n is the length of the list i mean for linear search you need maximum of n comparison when n is the length of the list for it so if 2048 is the length of the list it means it will need 2048 comparison 
and second part is can binary search do it in less number of comparison yes it can do it as you can see the comparison it is called half interval search so, so it will do in the half search and you can also see the time complexity is also less so it can definitely it so it can definitely do in less number of comparison so answer will be yes binary search can do it more e efficiently and linear search takes 2048 comparison so before going to our next question i want to make something clear so all answers shown here are correct according to me but then also if there is any change in answer i will definitely inform in telegram channel or in this youtube channel community tab or in this video description so please make sure to see this video description on the last submission date and we have one correction in joy week 4 question number 4 please remove tick from option number b so let me show you the context so you can see here so this was the question in joy week 4 so this option will not be the answer as you can see here we have 2e so this will amper the cal calculation of magic constant so mark option a c and d as an answer for question number 4 in joy week 4 okay now i am going to the next question which is question number 5 what is the primary use of file with a dot wave or dot wav extension so it is used to store audio recording as you can see from this screenshot so mark option d as an answer for question number 5 now coming to the question number 6 what does uh, this program will print so you can see it is trying to print counter slash n means uh, n is 10 and this counter is taking the count where choice 1 is not equal to choice 2 so it means that both the players show different symbol among rock paper and scissor and choice 1 and choice 2 both have random choice for rock paper and scissor as you can see from here so it is just trying to find out the count of count where both the players show different symbols okay so just select option a as an answer for question number six coming to the question number seven in binary search the list get divided in every iteration to find the element yes this is true as you can see from this screenshot it works repeatedly by dividing search interval in half until the target value is found coming to question number eight which of the requirements for binary search to work correctly so it should be the list should be sorted as you can see from the previous year's screenshot the list should be sorted so mark option c as an answer for question number eight going to the question number nine so you have this array what will be the array after third pass in bubble sort so i just have one code for bubble sort as you can see in the third pass the value is one two three four seven so mark one two three four seven which is option c as an answer for question number nine and going to the question number 10 how many swaps are performed in iteration 3 for bubble sorting list which is 5 4 3 2 1 so so i have this list 5 4 3 2 1 and i will check the number of swaps so if you check in the third iteration we have number of swaps as 2 so mark 2 as answer for question number 10 i hope you like this video Please like, comment and subscribe.